Hi everyone, in this short video I'm going to show you how to install Keycloak on OpenShift. Okay, and you will see it's really easy. So let's go to my OpenShift cluster that I've deployed here. And what we are going to do, first thing is we are going to create a new project. And let's call this project Keycloak. Okay, and there we are in Keycloak. And then look here, you have something called operators. And let's go to the operator app. Okay, it's loading. And let's search for Keycloak. Keycloak, there we go. And look, we have a Keycloak operator. So I just click here. I say, okay, it's a community edit, uh, operator. And I clicked install. I subscribe to the operator and it's just getting installed. You can see here installing, it takes a while. Let me grab some coffee while it's installing. And once it will be installed, we will be able to create a Keycloak instance that will create a service for us, a service discovery, um, and a lot of different stuff. Oh look, it's, it's installed, so let me click here on the operator and look what we can do here in provided APIs. Keycloak represents a Keycloak instance. So here I can create a Keycloak instance, okay? So let's just click here. And we can see here a, a CRD, a really simple CRD, the name of our Keycloak instance. Let's go, it's okay. And let's press create Keycloak. And now the operator is installing a Keycloak instance for me. Okay, um, while well, it's installing, let's see the other things that we can do with the operator. So we have here Keycloak Realm. So we can create a realm for our Keycloak based on a CRD. Okay, we can create a Keycloak client. So I just remind you a client in Keycloak is any app, backend app, frontend app that is secured by Keycloak. It's a client, so you can uh, make a client representation using a CRD and you can create a Keycloak user from the operator. So that means that all the basic stuff that are really important in Keycloak, Realm, Client, User, that can all be handled by this operator by CRDs, which means that you can automate all this stuff around your cluster. Let's take a look at our um, Keycloak instance. And look, uh, my Keycloak here is running, but not yet ready because it needs to start up. Uh, I got my operator here and I got a uh, Keycloak Postgres because Keycloak needs a database. And with the operator, it will spin up a PostgreSQL database for you and connect that to your Keycloak uh, server. Okay, um, if we take a look here at our uh, services, you can see we have a Keycloak service, so which exposes our Keycloak server, a Keycloak discovery service. We have even some metrics and the database is of course also exposed um, as a service. And since we are on OpenShift, we also have a route and here you can see we have this route here that will point directly to our web interface of our Keycloak instance. Okay, um, let me double check if the deployment is uh, done. It's still not done. Let's take, a, let's take a pause and I come back once it's installed and we can take a look at it. So my um, Keycloak instance is running and ready. That means if I go here to my routes and that I click on the route, that should open for me the Keycloak console. Look, and we go, can go here to the administration console. There we go. And yeah, I need to log in. And which are my credentials? When the operator installed the Keycloak instance for you, it also created a secret 
And if you go here, you can see something called Credentials Example Keycloak. And here you have the admin password and the admin username. We can check the admin username, it's admin. And let me copy the password here. And let me do admin login. And voila, I got a Keycloak instance running. I'm here on the master realm, but of course I can create a realm from here. Or remember that you can also create a realm from the operator. If you go here and that you click here on create realm, you should be able to create a realm. Okay, maybe we can try it. Let's try it. Let's create the realm here. Let's create a realm called basic. And if we go here uh, in my realms, we should have uh, the basic realm. To be honest, I've never tried that. So maybe I made a, a mistake. Uh, let me see. Basic. No, it's there. So you see, I can create realms, users, clients from the operator. Okay. In the next video, I will show you now how to secure a workload that we put in Kubernetes with Keycloak installed here. Okay. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.